friends, it's me. I did something new with my makeup today. But can you guess what it is? Anyways, today we're gonna be checking out people who got what they deserve. Okay, there's this girl taking pictures in front of my car, pretending like it's hers. <laughs> you know, good old karma doing her job. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, it's a wall. What did you expect to happen? Did you think the wall was just gonna take it? Well, not this wall. You just got done diddly owned by a drywall. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. <gasps> I can't believe this, dude. Honestly, what you get for littering like look at that rooftop absolutely disgusting. This was well deserved bone apple teeth I hope you lost some of yours. I am a thief I stole a girl's phone from Panera Bread. I work at in downtown on Saturday Unfortunately for me I was arrested last night and the cops found the phone I stole and got it back to the girl that it belonged to Stupidly I had logged in on the phone to Facebook and Twitter so now the owner can tell Type whatever she wants on my account. Ha, <laughs> karma's funny like that, huh? Maybe this will teach you some honesty and you'll be smart next time not to take things that don't belong to, idiot. Oh, decimated. Imagine being this hecking dumb. Ooh, I stole the phone. I'm going to log into my Facebook and Twitter on that phone. And then idiot gets arrested. Seriously? I can't believe this, dude. Now everybody on Facebook is gonna know how stupid you are. Grandma's not gonna love you anymore. I would say they got what they deserve. You leave your dog in the car alone while you go pick up some bagels without leaving the AC on for him. He gonna poop in your car. <laughs> I love how he's on the top of the seats. Like that is the best place to do it. Like if I was a dog and I was trying to get revenge and believe me revenge is such like a huge thing with dogs. Like they will always get you back. My dog has. Every time he sees that I get something new or I, I'm really excited about something. See he's a very smart dog. He'll go and pee on it. That dog secretly hates me, but like loves me. I don't know. I can't even like begin to explain. But like he does things that are horribly mean for no reason. But he's a nice dog. So I I, I don't understand. He got like split personality or something. Here we got a good old coffee creamer in the teacher's lounge fridge. Good morning to whoever has been enjoying my coffee creamer all week. Surprise! You've been drinking my breast milk. I hope you've enjoyed. Cheers. P.S. It's organic so no worries how somebody gonna have it all week like Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday drink it the whole time and be like that don't taste like caramel maybe chocolate Natural. Yeah, that does taste pretty natural. They must have liked the taste of it or something. Ugh. Woman tries to eat live octopus. Octopus tries to eat her back. <gasps> I heard about this because me and Digital have been watching mukbang videos where they eat octopuses and they eat them live. And it's supposed to be very, very dangerous to eat them live because they can just like stick onto like the sides of your throat. In this case, your face and your eyelid and ball and. Ooh! Yeah, oh, good old karma. Like, why are you eating it alive? At least boil it first. Come on now, this is 2019. Civilization has come so far, but we still got people eating live octopus. I don't get it. I really don't. It's still alive. You're like an animal. We got this lovely little parking space. Motorcycle parking, you know? For motorcycles only. No, they were like, oh, free spot. Or maybe they can't read. And decided to park there. Ain't no motorcycles around these parts. I may be a Ford, but I identify as a motorcycle. It's 2019, y'all could be whatever you wanna be. So this motorcycle parked behind him, now you can't get out. Now you're gonna have to wait for the motorcyclist to be done. Let him move his motorcycle. Or you could just run it over. Or you could just not park there in the first place. Oh my God, speaking of horrible parking, I was at the movie theater the other day, and this dude, I can't believe somebody actually parked like this. Bruh. <laughs> Like, this is a parked car, man. This is parked. Stupid. See, with my car, this car. Like, I can't believe it. He was like 10 feet from the curb, locked his car, and went to the movie theater, like, not even bothered to fix it. This was the worst parking I've ever seen. Oh my god. 
on. I get it. It's like, what did you think was gonna happen? This crazy dude shaking the traffic light pole. Like, damn, boy, give me some oranges. Except he didn't get orange. He got a red light. Stop light be like, don't you see I'm red? What are you moving me for? It ain't gonna make me green faster. But to do when you find out your boyfriend of four years has been cheating on you, not once, but twice, and with multiple different girls. Oh, no. What did his PlayStation do? Leave his PlayStation and all 64 gigs out of this. You need to take it out on your mans. Literally all your Fortnite skins down the drain. <laughs> Man, what a way to go. But I mean, he cheated on her with two different girls. He deserves some kind of punishment. You know the most petty thing I've ever done? Well, one of. Whenever me and my brother would fight when we were kids, he broke my Digimon game disc and I was so angry. So I took his Sonic disc and I scratched it. I scratched the living heck out of it. And back in the day, I don't know if this is still a thing, but like when you scratch the back of a disc, like a PlayStation game, CD, whatever, it doesn't play right. It like starts lagging and messing up. So that's how you would get your revenge back in the day. <sighs> This dude really had to take up three spots. Three parking spots. And those are some big, fat, thick, and juicy parking spots. They ain't like the narrow little LA one. No. I want to meet one of these people. Like, how entitled do you have to be to take up three whole parking spots? Like, the only reason you should ever do that is if the whole parking lot is empty and you're going to be like five minutes. See, this smart car is smart. It's going to block this dude. He can't even get in through his door. And yeah, he's stuck. A girl I screwed over once upon a time now gives my number to all the guys that she's not interested in at the bars. Well played. <laughs> Slide through, where y'all? What up? This is genius. I wonder how long it took him to realize that, hey, wait, this girl, she just giving my number to all these dudes. I mean, that's pretty good. You basically have to change your number. Buy me, you screwed her over. Getting a taste of that sweet, sweet karma. Extra crispy, please. Just got knocked off my bike by a taxi, and then he drove away. Suppose you could call it a hit and run. <laughs> Unless he left us behind on purpose. Oh, no! Oh, yikes, that dude going to jail. Imagine hitting and running somebody, and then wham, bam, yes, ma'am, a gift has fallen from above. Their license plate. Now you can just take that to the good old police. Hopefully they can help you. Sometimes they won't. I had the license plate of somebody that hit me, and they didn't do diddly squat. I mean, if I was real petty, and they did a lot of damage, I would have just posted that license plate online, be like, y'all better do your work. But I think that is so scummy, like somebody hitting somebody and not paying for it. Huge pet peeve. Not to mention illegal. My bike was stolen last week and yesterday I saw it for sale on Craigslist. So I messaged the seller, met him at McDonald's, and when I noticed it was 100% my bike, I dumbly asked to take it for a ride. He said, yeah, just don't ride off, which is exactly what I did. I stole my bike back. <laughs> This is perfect, pure genius. I mean, he can't even be mad about it because he stole it. Like, that's exactly what you did. So don't be mad if somebody gonna steal it back. Can you even be mad about that? It was never yours to begin with. But yeah, every time I have something that's missing or I lost, I always check Craigslist. I'm like, hmm, what if I dropped it somewhere or somebody stole it from me and they're selling it on Craigslist or eBay? You know, that is a really good tip. If you lose something, always check those sites to see if somebody's selling it. But then I just find it in one of my pockets later. I feel like I never truly lose anything, except my iPod. In seventh grade, it was my very first iPod. And I only had it for three days. I don't know what happened to it. It just fell out of my backpack or something, or somebody stole it from me. I still have no idea what happened to my iPod. It was a, like a video iPod too. I cried for days. I won't even be mad anymore. I just, or whoever took it from me, comment, message me, I don't know. I want to know what happened to it. Did you steal it from me? Why did you steal it from me? I, I want to know. I need answers. It's been like 15 years. I won't even be mad, I promise. <laughs> Okay, you know what? We're gonna rename this video Idiot Drivers Who Park Where They Shouldn't Have Parked. This dude parked in a handicapped spot and this dude had enough. He was like, this is the last time. This is the last straw. Like something just set him off. He went to every Staples in the city and bought every single pack of blue post-its and stuck them on this dude's car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but now can he park in handicap? Oh my god, he's desperately trying to get all of them off, but there's so many people around him. That's even worse than the fact that his car got post-noted. 
<laughs> I can tell you that this dude will never ever ever park in a handicapped spot ever again like after this lesson learned <laughs> Hi Steven, do I have your attention now? I know all about her you dirty sneaky immoral unfaithful poorly endowed slime ball <laughs> Everything's caught on tape your soon-to-be ex-wife Emily PS I paid for this billboard from our joint bank account. Oof. Ouch. Steven, ooh, you in trouble. <laughs> you got a billboard the whole city can see. Is this in New York? How expensive would that be to get a billboard? Like, damn. Don't try to ghost your soon-to-be ex-wife or this might happen. <laughs> he really tried to attack a bus. What did the bus do? Not let you on or something? What was hitting the window gonna do? He and then Fortnite danced his way out. Literally. I mean, he got that Fortnite dance nailed. Nah, but for real, what did you think was gonna happen if you punched a bus's window? Hurt him way more than it hurt you. It's funny because the bus didn't even do anything. He literally just fell and hit his head on his car. You suck. That was horrible. I give this altercation a 2 out of 10. Sometimes people with fancy cars think they just own the road. This guy thought he was taking a quick shortcut while completely ignoring the cones and warning signs and got himself stuck in cement. Oh no, rip your tie. Rip your car. Can I get a big fat F in the chat for this idiot? Oh my Jaguar. Ruined. Table left without paying, but forgot their Ray Bans. What an idiot. Goes to a restaurant, has to pay $27, and then leaves their $100 Ray Bans. Nice. Imagine this idiot actually coming back into the store like, oh, I forgot to pay. Here's the money. <laughs> Can I get my glasses back? <laughs> Stop. You violated the law. Somebody call the cops on this dude. I really hope they didn't let him get away with it. That wouldn't be fun. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and want good karma the rest of the day, make sure you smash that like button in the face. And if you guys want to watch my other video on people who got what they deserve, I will link that below. And make sure you subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.